Tell him. Guys, I think this is the big rainbow trout. Oh, wow. Guys, <laughs> this might be a PB. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Last Cast Outdoors. Today we're gonna catch some kokanee salmon and I'm so excited. It is the fall season, so the kokanee are turning bright red. Hopefully we can catch a couple. Last year I did and it was an absolute blast. They're so aggressive and I love the colors on them. Currently it is 32 degrees, it is freezing. Uh, I don't know how long I'm gonna fish until like the sun comes up, but I'm gonna throw a couple and see if I can catch one. And uh, let me show you guys my setup and let's catch some kokanee salmon. All right, guys, this is my setup for today. This is a 6.9 medium light Synchroid Trout Series rod. My reel is a Shimano Vanford 2500. All right, guys, I'm gonna put on this pink marabou jig. Let's see if they'll bite it. Got three right in front of me. Trying to get my marabou jig over. Oh, I got one chasing it. Oh, I pulled it out of his mouth. No, 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 no. Oh, he's right in front of me. Let's see if he'll... And my eyelids are frozen. Oh, we almost had our first kokanee, guys. Let's see if he'll go back for it. Oh, he's coming back. Gotta let him eat it. Oh, no, I hooked his fin. Crap. I hooked his fin. Oh no. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I accidentally hooked his fin. Okay, come on, buddy. Let's go. Come on. Man, that's not how I want to catch my fish. Come on. Problem is, they have a lot more power once they're hooked in the fin. So they can actually swim faster and use all their power. And I got him right in his fin. I just don't want him to freak out and just start running. So we're just gonna slowly walk him back here. No, let's not go underneath there. I'm sorry, buddy. He's actually not fighting too aggressively. Here we go. All right. Let's see if we can get this guy. All right, guys, our first kokanee salmon of the day. He's being really, really gentle. He's probably really exhausted. Nice colors on him. He got some really gnarly teeth on him. Let's try to let him go. All right, guys, I'm gonna be using a pink trout magnet and I have a bobber on top. We're gonna go with a more gentle approach and see if we can catch a couple. I think we got the big rainbow looking at it. He's taking it. Got him. Guys, I think this is the big rainbow trout. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't believe it. Oh, wow, guys, <laughs> look at that. Oh crap, my GoPro. Oh no. Oh, sorry guys, couldn't see that. Now you can. He is powerful. My drag is tight and he's pulling. Okay, let's slowly get him in here. Dude, I have a medium light and my pole's bent. No, let's not go underneath there. Come on. So powerful. No, 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 no. Let's not go under there. Oh my gosh. I have to use two hands. My pole is bent. Let's land this rainbow trout. Okay. Let's grab the net. 
Hopefully you guys can see that. Oh, dude, this fight. I'm out of breath right now. My arm is so sore. He does not want to go. much longer you can fight oh, buddy buddy oh okay 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 he's in the net guys holy crap he's a tank all right guys check that out 19 inch rainbow trout absolute tank look at him wow Let's let this guy go. He's so pretty. Guys, that was crazy. 19 inch rainbow trout, wild, oh my gosh. I have to check on my fish brain to see if that's my PB. But that thing was a tank. Beautiful, beautiful rainbow trout, 19 inches. What a stud, probably four to five pounds, that thing was. That's almost better than catching those kokanee salmon. That's amazing. Put up such a good fight. My GoPro fell down a little bit. Hopefully you guys kind of saw it, but I did position it back upwards, but. All right, guys, I want you to check out my hook. Look at that. That's what he did to my hook. Thing is completely bent. Wow, never seen anything like that. All right, guys, we are gonna head to the new spot. I couldn't see really any more kokanee over there. Hopefully we can catch some more. I'll see you guys at the next spot. All right, guys, we're here at the new spot. There is a nice flow of kokanee salmon right here. And there's a bunch of dead ones right there, which is really sad. So we're gonna fish over here. And if we don't do good, then we'll go by the dam. But yeah, let's just uh, give it a go. Oh, we got one looking at it. Yeah, they're way more aggressive. Come on, take it, buddy. <sighs> all right, all right. He almost went for it. Got him. There we go. We got him, guys. Yeah, let's go. And right in the mouth. Oh, he popped off. Are you kidding me? In the fin, again. Oh my gosh, guys, what is wrong with me? Yeah, he's right in the fin. I'm so sorry, buddy. Yeah, he's mad. He's mad. He is a nice one though, for sure. He has a nice hunch. See if we can get him in here. Oh, he's pretty. Ooh. Dude, those teeth are so bad. All right, guys, a nice kokanee salmon, gnarly teeth on him. Let's let this guy go. Got him. 
There we go. Yes, let's go. I've been concentrating so hard. He finally ate it. Gotta get him in here, guys. Oh, there he is. All right, guys, we caught a nice big kokanee salmon pretty guy. Let's let him go. All right, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun fishing at Strawberry, catching those red kokanee salmon. That only happens once a year, and I'm so grateful I was able to catch a couple. I feel really bad catching some in the fin. I mean, I don't like catching fish like that, but they were able to swim away just fine, and the hooks came right out. We also caught that awesome 19-inch rainbow trout. It was not my PB, but it was pretty close. I wish I could keep that fish and mount it on the wall. It was so pretty. It was wild. I love the colors on it. I also do apologize for the camera angles. They were just so weird for some reason, especially with the rainbow trout. My camera just kept falling down, so I try to make it look as appealing as possible. But if you guys enjoyed this video and the underwater footage, which you should because underwater footage of a kokanee salmon is the coolest underwater footage ever and make sure to like this video and i will see you guys next time see ya